So when a patient's diagnosed, basically at that point, the partner, wife, husband, whoever it may be, becomes a carer. You go from probably just your everyday mundane jobs that you do around the house to suddenly having a great big long list of things you have to do for the patient. It's all just dumped on you. No consultation, no discussion. It's just expected. Getting them to and from appointments such as radiotherapy, chemotherapy, uh, specialist appointments, scans, CT scans. You might even find that one day you're in one part of the hospital for a CT scan, an hour later you're in a different part of the hospital for a consultant's appointment, the following day you're back there again for radiotherapy. There's no thought taken into can the carer get time off work, has the carer got a vehicle to get the patient to and from, is the patient fit to be rushed around the hospital to two or three different appointments on the day. But the point is, it's just dumped on the carer. So at the beginning there'll be a barrage of text messages and WhatsApp messages and phone calls from friends and family that are obviously concerned about the patient, dealing with the children, their worries, concerns and upset about it. Other issues the caregiver has is the fact that away from the hospital they come home after the patient's diagnosed and they suddenly have to go into nurse mode. When a patient's had a peg fitted they have to turn that peg for the patient, they have to feed the patient through it. Does that caregiver actually want to be a nurse? Do they want to have to clear up the mess that a patient has when they're going through radiotherapy around their neck? 